Hi people, it's me Anya. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to a new video. As you can probably tell, I've come home for the summer because I just completed my second year in university. So, yay. Anyway, the first book on this list is called Muse. This story is a YA alternate historical fiction because I believe it's set in the late 19th century and it's set in a world where America had a monarchy instead of what they actually decided to do. So in that aspect, it's kind of similar to American Royals, except that American Royals is set in modern day, and this story is set in the 19th century. Anyway, it follows a young girl who's grappling for control over her own destiny in the midst of a looming war. I enjoy this book. I had very, very low expectations because this book is written by the same author who wrote the Study in Home, the Charlotte Holmes series, which I never completed. So I didn't know that I was going to actually complete this story. I ended up writing this book three stars because it was good and solid, but it wasn't like anything special. I did enjoy the concept behind the story. I enjoyed the world building. I enjoyed the main character's determination and her personality. But however, I found myself not really caring about the politics of this story and the writing felt very info dumpy. And if I'm going to be completely honest, I didn't really care about the politics of the story, so I didn't really try to understand it. So maybe that's on me, but at any rate, I didn't absolutely love this book, and I will not be continuing this series. So with that, I rated the story three stars. The next book on this list is called Down Comes the Night. This story is YA fantasy, and it follows a young girl. And after she is suspended from the queen's gold, she goes to a mysterious estate because someone there needs her healing magic. This book is so good. The world building sucked me in immediately. The plot is so action packed and fast paced and just so unbelievably thrilling. The main character is such a wonderful, well developed, distinct character. I believe that she is also bisexual, so we love to see it. We love to see more sapphic YA protagonists in YA fantasies and the romance in the story was so good and so cute and so well developed. I also believe that this story is a standalone. We love to see it. We love to see more YA fantasy standalones with sapphic main characters. I will gladly read more from this author because the author did such a great job setting up the world, setting up the dynamic between the main character and her love interest representing the main character's bisexuality literally so 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 well this book is so good like i said the world building was so wonderful the main character as a character was such a wonderful well-developed distinct character and she seemed so realistic and three-dimensional and i liked her so 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 much this book is so good it's so good, it's kind of underrated for a new release, and it's absolutely so, so good. So with that, I highly, highly recommend it, because I ended up rating it four stars, because I really, really liked it. The next book on this list is called Between Perfect and Real. This story is YA contemplative and follows a young transgender boy who finds the courage to come out through his high school's production of Romeo and Juliet when he plays Romeo. This story is so good. I ended up rating it five stars because it was absolutely so good. It was so emotionally touching and so raw and so real and it was so good. The representation through the main character felt so realistic and it was done so, so well and I absolutely loved it. I loved every single aspect of this story because it was done so well. I found myself truly caring about the main character from the very beginning to the very end because his character growth was done so, so, so well. And I just really, really enjoy this book because every single element of it was so good. The plot was so intriguing. The character growth was so well done. The representation was top notch. Obviously, I'm biased because I'm cis, but I felt like the representation was top notch. This book is so good. This is a story that everybody will enjoy because it's absolutely so wonderful and it's so lovely and it's so incredible and so amazing and I'm so glad that I read it because this book is so good and with that I highly highly recommend it and like I said I gave it five stars so there you have it. 
The next book on this list is called Hurricane Summer. Before I get into this book, I'd like to address the trigger warnings on this story. There are trigger warnings on this story for sexual assault, rape, slut shaming, physical abuse, and colorism. So if any of those things trigger you, I would be wary of this book. But anyway, this story is a YA contemporary book that follows Tilla, who's going to be spending her summer in Jamaica, and she's forced to unravel her own storm in her own life. The story was good. I enjoyed the atmosphere. I enjoyed the plot. I enjoyed the main character's growth because she became a very well-developed, distinct, strong character. And the writing was so descriptive and atmospheric. Like I said, the atmosphere was so well-developed. The amount of books that I've read that are set in Jamaica in a contemporary modern setting are little to none. So that was very, very refreshing. However, due to all the trigger warnings, this book personally wasn't really my cup of tea because it was a little bit too violent for me personally. However, I do understand why all of those violent things happened because it made the story more realistic. You know what I mean? So I'm not by any means saying that the author shouldn't have added any of those things, but for me personally, it made the story a little bit too violent for me. So, with that said, I would still recommend this story, even though I personally rated it three and a half stars, because I do think that this book is one to enjoy and one to watch, because the writing is so good. This book did not lead as a debut book, because this author's writing is so good and just so atmospheric. So, with that, I do recommend this book, but please be wary of the trigger warnings. So, yeah. The next book on this list is called The Adventures Now. This story is middle grade contemporary and follows a young boy who's going to spend the summer on a remote island and learns about finding friends and protecting the environment along the way. This story is so good. I just really, really enjoyed it. This author does such a great job developing well-developed characters that you are so emotionally touched by and attached to throughout the entire story. I loved the friendships that the main character made throughout the story. This book is so good. This author is so talented. I just read The Miraculous by her last month, I believe. So reading her next book immediately was like so wonderful. Such a lovely experience. Because this book is so good. It's so wholesome. And like I said, the characters are so emotionally touching and they're so well developed and distinct. This author's writing is so well done. Her world building is so lovely and so wonderful and almost like whimsical. Her books are so good and each one of them are so distinct and so wonderful. I was kind of afraid that this book would sound too similar to her previous one since I read it so recently but it didn't this book is so good her books are so good and so distinct and so wonderful and so lovely and with that i would highly highly recommend this book and her others because i rated this book four stars because i really really enjoyed it so yeah the next book on this list is honestly probably the reason why you clicked on this video and i can't blame you because it is meet cute diary this story is so good it's YA contemplating and follows a young transgender teen whose first love challenges his ideas of perfect relationships this book is so good like i said it's YA contemplating and i ended up rating it four stars because i really really enjoyed it first of all the representation was so well done like i said the main character is transgender and he's also triracial we love to see it his love interest uses neo pronouns, which I've never seen before in a YA book or in any book at all, so we love to see it. And the main character has such a great, wonderful support system, which honestly is rare to see in queer books, so again, we love to see it. The plot was so intriguing and so wonderful and so lovely. The romance was so cute and so fluffy and just so happy. This story is so lovely and so wonderful and it just made my heart sing because it was absolutely so wonderful and so lovely 
this book dissolves all of its hype and so much more. It's absolutely so, so, so good. It's so fluffy and wonderful and lovely and happy. This story is so well done. So with that, I highly, highly recommend it. So in conclusion, my favorite book on this list was definitely between perfect and real because like i said i rated it five stars and i don't know if you've noticed but i haven't rated a book five stars since the very beginning of the year which i was born for this so we love to see it by default my least favorite book on this list was definitely muse but at any rate i would recommend all the books on this list because they're all so 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 good with the exception of muse but anyway if you enjoy this video please don't hesitate to give it a big thumbs up comment down below the bail emoji if you made it all the way to the end of the video thanks for watching subscribe to my channel if you're new and i'll see you in my next video bye